Hi, I'm Tom. You probably don't know me, but you might know my trail dog, Ruby. We've been riding together for a few years now, and she's built quite a following up on Instagram. One of the most popular things we're asked is how to train a trail dog. So that's what I'm going to try and show you today. First things first, you need to pick the right kind of dog for you. Not every dog is built for running on the trails, so it's important to seek advice from a professional or a vet to see what kind of breed would suit you and your riding style. Ruby's a Hungarian Vizsla and she's ideally suited to running long distances on the trail with me. She's got long legs, a muscular body and tough paws. Most dogs really want to please you and they'll run themselves into the ground trying to chase your back wheel, which can cause loads of health issues further down the line. It's important to be responsible with your dog. Something like rolling down a fire road, which seems quite easy to us, is actually pretty tough for a dog. So I'd recommend starting in some single track or some tight twisty trails where the average speed's a bit lower and they find it a lot easier. But before the fun starts, step one is learning some basic obedience off the bike. So let's start there. The fundamentals we need to get sorted are recall and walking to heel. Recall is basically, you want your dog to be able to come back to you. So when you call them, they're with you. Ruby, come here. Come here. Good girl. This is really important because you don't want your dog running off into the bushes, chasing wildlife, doing things it shouldn't be doing. It should be with you at all times. Walking to heel basically means the dog walks with you at your pace on or off a lead. So if you speed up, they speed up. This is really important on the bike because to start with, we're going to try and keep the dog behind us and not in front. If your dog was to get in front before it knew what was going on, there's always a chance that you could run it over. Once you and your dog have got those behaviours dialed, then it's time to introduce the bike. With Ruby, I started out on a local blue trail that I know really well and would never do more than 10 minute bursts, really concentrating on keeping her behind the bike. If she ever ran in front, I just kill the fun by stopping my bike and putting a back behind me. Come here. Good girl. As I've already said, it's all about patience and building it up slowly. Your dog's got to enjoy what it's doing, but you also got to do it safely. What really helped me was introducing a command word. So whenever Ruby would go in front, I'd say here in quite a negative tone so that she would know that she's done wrong and she needs to come behind. Come here. As with any dog training, it's all about consistency, so I'd recommend using the same trail over and over again to start with. Another thing I found really useful was just keeping it to Ruby and I when we were learning. Riding with other people is fun, but at this early stage it can introduce loads of extra distractions for the dog, and you can lose some of that consistency that you have when it's just you and your dog on your own. So I recommend not riding in big groups when you're starting out. It took around about a year with Ruby to get really comfortable together on the trails. And now on local trails that we both really know, I let her run ahead. Ruby's much faster than me, so I've never been worried about catching her up. But I can't stress enough how many hours we've spent doing the same trail over and over again before I was confident enough to let her run ahead. With Ruby, we didn't start trail running together until she was at least a year old. This can vary from breed to breed, but it's really important to make sure their joints are fully developed before you start. We spoke to our vet, so I'd recommend seeking professional advice to find out what's safe for your breed of dog. And that's about it. Fundamentally, it's all about patience and consistency. If you've got any questions for Ruby and I, let us know in the comments below.